we are going to talk about an app taking the world by storm. Check this out. What I just showed was done by an AI software called ChatGPT. And I'm going to explain all of this thing at beginner level, so don't worry. ChatGPT is a computer program designed to chat with people using natural language. So it's like your virtual assistant that can understand what you're saying and respond in a way that makes sense. So let me give you a background about the way things have progressed over the years. Remember there was a time when people used to go to the library, you search for information in different kinds of books. And then search engines came like Google, Bing, and now you, and now you could just input any text and then it brings you back vast amount of links to click on. Now, this is where we are moving into. We are moving into the era of chat GPT. And where this is able to sort of summarize the information you are looking for. To access chat GPT, open your browser and input chat.openai.com. Okay, it brings you to this screen. You can sign up, so let's do that. To input your email address and password, or you can simply sign in with your Google or Microsoft account, and that's much easier. I have already created the account, so I'll go ahead and log in into the interface. When I say chat GPT uses natural language, this is what I mean. I ask the very first question, write a letter to my boss. I can ask a follow-up question. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five paragraphs. So can you make this three paragraphs long? <laughs> oh goodness. So chat GPT has been trained with a lot of data from the internet. And so it, it's able to understand the nuances of the human language. And that is what makes asking full up questions possible. So why should we care about chat GPT? You know, like I just mentioned, this is the, the next phase of things. It changes, it changes the way we, we approach office work. So instead of using the whole time to write a letter to your boss, you could just put it in, in chat GPT. Of course, you make a few edits. So um, what can we use chat GPT for? It can solve mathematical equations, math problems. Um, it's good at writing CVs and resumes. It can even it can even improve your resume if you already have one. So let's ask ChatGPT. Can you make me a CV? Okay. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I actually want ChatGPT to write me a CV. Okay, so this is what I'm saying. I write me a CV. I'm applying for a job as a commercial sales manager. I have experience in business development, warehouse management, pharmacy retail management. Um, I'm a pharmacist by profession. So let's see. You see, you have to approach ChatGPT like a tool. As an assistant, it's not going to spit out the answers for you for a research work or for a letter you write to your boss. You, have, you, you certainly have to go through, put it in a way that sounds like you. Okay? So I'm not saying that you just rely on ChatGPT and not even think. That is not what we are asking you to do. But it's like this massive um, assistant that understands you in a natural language and is able to process information very fast and so it's 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 it really saves you time okay so i think we should embrace this technology if there's anything you want me to touch on please leave a comment in the description below